Here's a few little tips for how you can clean up your caseload. Watch to see how to tidy up your caseload before a new school year, or if you're new to SLP Toolkit, stay tuned to see how to get your caseload set up. First, head over to your caseload tab and let's get started. The school year automatically rolls over in the system in early July, so you don't have to worry about updating that on your end, but all other student info remains unchanged. To change which columns are seen, use the Actions button to customize the fields that you use. Take a minute to go through and archive any students who may have moved or transferred off your caseload. Archiving a student will save a copy of your student's data in case you ever need to access it again. If you delete the student, their info will be gone forever, so archiving is definitely your best option in the case that they move back or you need to look up data for their new SLP. Next, you can go through and move your students up a grade. If you happen to already know their new teacher, you can enter that info as well. Check to see if you need to update any IEP dates so that the due date is listed. You can either type directly into the field or click on the month or the year in the calendar to navigate more quickly. And then you are ready to go! If you're uploading your caseload for the first time, you will need a CSV file which you can create in Excel, Numbers, or Google Sheets. The order and number of columns that you have is not important. Let's go ahead and get this caseload imported. Make sure to deselect your row of headers in the preview and then match up your columns with the correct header names. You can manually go through to enter the student's grades and you are all set! If you have any questions along the way, please email us at hello at slptoolkit.com.